In this video, I'll be reacting and rating all the brand new Eredivisie home shirts for the upcoming season. That's right, I created a tier list reaching from would buy, great shirt, looks good, meh, it's alright, amateur worthy and designed by a blind man. I will be very strict but fair in ranking these shirts, so hopefully this could help you to determine which Eredivisie shirt you would buy this season. Now, without further ado, let's start the video. Leave a like if you enjoy it. I'm very excited to see what the new shirts look like. Um, and we'll start off with the first one, Ajax. So this season Ajax have gone for a lovely color with a button, which is something I really, really like. Uh, I know there's a lot of criticism on the shirt because on the back you have the bar not running down entirely to the bottom of the shirt. There's this U-shaped end and then a white, you know, surrounding. A lot of people do hate it because an Ajax shirt is, you know, meant to have the red bar go all the way down and all the way up you know the standard ix design which i had for years um you know because of the button um it's, it's it's a very standard design with the same sponsor as last year just the color that is being added i think it um it looks good it looks good now moving on to almere city they have this craft manufactured shirt and something i really don't like is the one casino sponsor being Massively present on the front. They have a little design going on with the uh, black and white stripe running down the shirt. Um, yeah, it's not really my cup of tea. Um, meh, it's all right. Now, moving on to AZ Alkmaar. And they have this weird Nike design where they have these white details right here on the front of the shirt. It's something I think is completely necessary. It doesn't add really to the design of the shirt, if you guys know what I mean. But I do like is the little bar running down from the top to the bottom, where they have this like mosaic type of pattern. Um, but th that just kind of blends in with the red of the shirt. So the things that come to mind easily when you see this shirt are these white things. I don't like it. I think it's all right, but without these white details, it would have been a good shirt. Now moving on to my club Feyenoord, would buy, of course. Now, now I'm just kidding. I when this shirt was released, I had some difficulties with the with the black design, uh, with the black details right here with the round color. Um, I'm getting to like it. Um, it looks good. Doesn't look great in my opinion uh, it's somewhere in between good and great i think i have to get a bit more used to the design of this shirt i do like that our new sponsor media Markt is a very known electronics chain in the netherlands um i think i will put it at looks good now moving on to fortuna sitart they always have great kits with a yellow base and then green details um the same as last year and I think the year before that they have a betting sponsor which I think is a bit mm, but yeah a bit poor I mean I don't like betting sponsors um, yeah I think I will put this shirt at looks good or maybe looks great I have to think about that for a while one eternity later okay I've thought about it I looked at the shirt in a bit more detail again and I think I will put it at looks good it's, it's kind of a standard shirt they have had for years. Then moving on to Go at Eagles. And I have to say they always have great kits. Their home shirt looks good. Their away and third shirts are usually great. Uh, and same goes for this one. A Stano designed shirt uh, with a huge yellow stripe or bar running down the middle of the shirt. They have a lovely color. Um, uh, the only thing... I just really, really hate about this shirt is the massive betting sponsor on the front. Bet Nation, that's the only thing you see when you look at this shirt. I mean, I mean, personally, I would have put this shirt in would buy, but because of this insanely big betting sponsor on the front, I mean, come on, it, it, it's just unnecessarily big. Um, I'll put it a great shirt, but but it's such a shame that we have this very, very ugly betting sponsor on the front. Speaking about a sponsor that ruins a shirt, we have this FC Groningen, FC Groningen shirt for the upcoming season. They got relegated back up to the Eredivisie after being relegated the season before. Um, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's very ugly. Um, the, the, the classic Groningen look with white, green, white, green, white has been, has been 
broken up by this OG, OG star, oh, the sponsor. It looks ugly. Um, is it amateur worthy? Not even. I think it is absolutely designed by a blind man. And I mean, in Groningen, they always say the pride of the North. Um, there's nothing above groaning and stuff like that. Well, this shirt just doesn't represent pride at all. Um, it's it it it's it's very poor. It's very very poor. And Robe usually have great designs, but I mean, it's 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 the same as the as the cup as the last seasons. It ah, it's 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 just very ugly. Okay, I will stop about it. It's ugly, designed by a blind man, probably. Now, moving on to SC Heerenveen, they have this lovely design with the pumper bladder, which is very, very known across football. Um, yeah, kind of the same shirt as last season. Uh, the sponsor placement is a bit weird. Um, usually they have great shirts with, with, for example, a color. Um, I think I will go for it's, it's, it's all right. Now, moving on to Heracles Almelo. They have this Serbi manufactured shirt, a Cito sponsor on the front, which is a sponsor they have had for years. Um, it looks pretty, it looks pretty good. Yeah, standard black and white shirt, I think. Moving on to Nak Breda, who have been relegated back up after spending years in the first division. And their sponsor basically says what the shirt is like. It's okay, nothing more, it's all right. Now moving on to the one and only club that hasn't released their home shirt for the upcoming season yet. It is NAC Nijmegen. They did release the special edition uh, green and orange shirt. I think the com color combination looks very, very bad. It is a special edition shirt contributed to the Nijmeegse Vidaagse, which is this huge uh, hiking event which is uh, very very famous here in the Netherlands but I think in, in Europe amongst the the hiking community uh, it's it's a special release for uh, to celebrate that event that is going on right now um, I mean it's it's amateur worthy uh, or no 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 designed by a blind man I mean orange and green come on I, I I'm sure it has some kind of meaning but to put this on a football shirt is just a crime against football in general now moving from knock to neck to pack Zwolle, uh, they have this Adidas manufactured shirt. They always have these uh, horizontal light blue stripes, which look very nice. Uh, the black details are quite nice. They blend in very good. They have a sponsor, Circus.nl. I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, the shirt looks good, actually. I think quite a nice design. Not something very special, but uh, yeah, pretty, pretty all right. Now, moving on to PSV Eindhoven with these brand new shirt. And they have had some spots or some, some marks with they intentionally put on the shirt. I think that makes for a very cool design, but it does remind me of the Bayer shirt from, I think, two seasons ago. Where they had these more, um, th this different shade of white on the shirt. Um, I th think it is pretty all right. Um, not very special uh, as I'm looking at it right now. Um, yeah, it gives a bit of cartoony vibes, if you guys know what I mean. Um, yeah, let's, let's put it in... looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Quite a unique design. Um, maybe even a grey shirt? I'm not sure. Um... I'm just not sure. Um... I think the design makes it for a very unique design, like I mentioned. Um, let's put it in grey shirt. Let's put it in grey shirt. Yeah, sure, why not? Moving on to RKC Waalwijk with this all yellow shirt. Usually they have some vertical light blue stripes running all across the shirt. They removed them and I think they removed a part of their... Uh, a part of their heritage, a part of their club. It looks like an amateur shirt. It really does look like an amateur shirt with a badge, a sponsor, uh, and and a manufacturer, uh, and and that's it. Uh, I think this is an amateur worthy shirt, which you could see on Saturdays and Sundays on a lot of fields right here in the Netherlands. Moving on to Sparta Rotterdam, and once again, just like Go at Eagles, they always have great away shirts and great third shirts. Their home shirt has been kind of the same for the past seasons. Um, and right now I think they made the Robi logo white or black instead of white, which was the case with the previous shirt. Um, 
I'm not, I'm not a fan of this home design. I mean, they should have gone for a color. They are like the oldest, um, one of the oldest professional clubs in the Netherlands. And I still think you should represent that, uh, that, that, that heritage in some kind of way. You know, add a color, make your shirt look a bit more vintage. I mean, they are always calling themselves the club of Rotterdam because they're older than Feyenoord and Excelsior, for example. Well, dress like it, I should say. Um, for now, it's all right with the color and maybe some more vintage details and a better sponsor, to be honest. It would have been a great or a good shirt, but now, just all right. Now, moving on to FC Twente with this Castor Manufactured shirt. It is like a one-on-one -on -one copy of the shirt they had the previous season. It's just a red shirt with some white details and a sponsor. Um, I think very poor from Castor. It's very poor work from Castor and I think the shirt looks amateur worthy to me. Now moving on to FC Utrecht and after years of having T-Mobile as their main sponsor, they now switched to another sponsor. And I have to say the placement of this sponsor looks very, very weird in my opinion. As you can see, it's not in the center of the shirt and we have this diagonal uh, line running there and it's it's it's... It looks off in some way. They have a nice color though. I have to give them that. But I think this is an all right shirt and nothing more. And now moving to the final shirt. Willem II named after a famous Dutch king. They're a club from Tilburg and they all court the Tricolores because they have a red white and blue design in their shirt. They are known to be a very royal looking club and they try to represent that as well. But with this kit, that is not the case. After years of not being in the Eredivisie, they finally got promoted the last season and they come with this. Um, I mean, it's, it's almost an amateur worthy design in my opinion. And uh, um, yeah, I, 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 I think it, 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 it really, really, really is. Um, yeah, for now it looks it looks all right. I'll put it there. Um, and then I would like to make a change because if the Go Ahead Eagle shirt is available without a sponsor, it would definitely be a would buy shirt. And I would like to uh, put the Fine Art shirt in great and then move. Uh, let's see, move the a Fortuna Sittard shirt, one place down to, it's all right. And this will be my ranking and my reaction to the new Eredivisie shirts. So this is my brutally honest ranking of the brand new Eredivisie shirts. Let me know what you think of those shirts and do you agree with my ranking? If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more football shirt related content. Thank you guys for watching for now and please feel free to watch another video. I'll see you in the next one. And I wish you guys have a wonderful day. See you later. Bye-bye.